Right, we started GFS, and I immediately saw things start to happen, meeting new people, making cool short films, and then Milton sees me speak at an accreditation meeting with uh, Bethany, um, your old roommate, Meg, just, just talking about Brittany Dove, excuse me, Bethany. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad she graduated. Anyway. So speaking, and then, and then Milton's like, hey, I have this channel. Would your club be interested in contributing to the channel? You know, we really need something that, that allows students a, a voice as well as capturing like the essence of the university and spirit and, and video production. It's a medium we haven't tapped into yet. So before you knew it, we had C2DV going. If you've turned it on, it, it probably, like you'll watch five minutes and then it'll glitch because we're still trying to work out the kinks. Um, but we're getting a new system. C2 TV is coming to your dorms soon. Anyway, so started getting into the film a lot. And at the same time, doing a lot more music. Met people like Meg, who totally took me out of my comfort zone and was like, yo, bang, and like, let's music. And I was just like, wow, this, this person is so herself. She just says it as, as it is. And like, that was pretty inspiring. I know it's scary for some people, but Meg's one of the most inspiring people you'll ever meet. She's blushing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, getting involved with more music. I had a chance, I did the, the KPLR acoustic showcase thing and, and, and writing new music and, and people encouraged me and, and trying to say something more with, with the songs and, and the meaning and that sort of thing. And, uh, but at the same time, building up my uh, like what I'm doing, like I had like so many things on the list. It's like, gotta do with the club, gotta do with C2 TV, oh, put the golf team, dad's mad. And then I gotta play, I gotta play music, I gotta get good grades. So it's like this big balancing act and, uh, and trying to pass on the work to other members of the club and then trying to keep writing music and then get involved with Family Wagon, which is totally awesome and still is. And uh, so it's, that brings me to my next um, point. What I, I prepared a few clips to show tonight and I wanna get this, this one started here. This is a, it's, I'm, I'm just, I just want to give an example visually of uh, just the kind of way, you know, when you put a lot of things on your plate and you have a lot to balance. And uh, it's a clip from the movie Rushmore, which came out in the mid-90s from Wes Anderson. What we're going to see now is a, is a, like a, a film montage, but film like a like yearbook snapshots of all the clubs and all the things he's involved in. And then it immediately goes to a conversation he has with the dean of the school about all these things that he's trying to balance and how some are slipping and then, uh, you know, he might face the consequences. So let's, let's roll that clip. So I love that movie and I love Max Fisher and I like to think of myself as Max Fisher sometimes because as you can see, he's balancing a lot, he's doing a lot, but he's letting some stuff slip and he can't do that because if you fail out of school, he can't make all those awesome clubs anymore. And uh, I, feel, I feel the same way sometimes with uh, all the extra curricular stuff I, because this school, man, you guys just, you're so like uh, accepting and you're just like, yeah, make that film club and uh, yeah, let's, let's do it, let's make posters. And I'm always just like, all right, let's do it. So I think where I've gotten now is, it's, a, it's sort of a milestone. I mean, I've, I've been in college now for, this is my fourth year of school. I'll be here in the fall. So if we didn't hang out yet, we will. And uh, I've kind of gotten to a point where I can, I can see how important it is to, to both balance all the, the academic stuff as well as all the club things and how they, they are all interconnected. That's the word we kept saying, interconnected, interconnectedness. And uh, I try to say it 10 times fast. Anyway, the importance of balancing everything. And uh, I'm getting to that point where it's like, yeah, it's, it's like if you let the grades slip, you know, or, or you stop going to chapel, you know, like other things are gonna start to fall apart as well. So. If there's anything I can bestow on you, it's definitely to you know take on as much as you can, and keep keep busy and, and flourish. But you know, if you take on more than you can handle, or you start to forget about the important things, whether it's academics, God, your boyfriend or girlfriend, paying rent, auto insurance, tying your shoes, you will suffer. Things will slip, and I'm learning that now about the pressure that's on me, and how everything is intertwined. And me being here right now is, is pretty amazing. I'd never in my wildest dreams thought anybody would ask me to speak in time out, but yet here I am. And Blake, what a blessing this young man is, you know? It's great. So I think what it is, is I, I can't just attribute 
everything that's happened that's brought me here, the, the phone call from Ben and, and getting here and the quitting the team and having a revitalized interest in music and art and film and all that stuff, I can't attribute that to happenstance. I definitely, I see it as something much greater at this point in my life that I can understand. And I think that, I think that's what faith is, right? Something you can't maybe, you can't understand, but you, you, you believe, you believe in it. And, uh, and that's how I'm seeing it maybe right in front of me, right before my eyes, like happen. And like, and that's pretty powerful and that's pretty cool. And it's been a difficult walk and, you know, I'm always, I feel like I'm always on a search. I'm always trying to figure it out, but I feel like I am in like, I am so lucky to be here where I can explore all of that and explore it all with you and the awesome faculty and staff. And I feel like I've, uh, I've learned a lot and I'm gonna to continue to do that. And uh, it's really special and I believe it's all interconnected and, and I'm not afraid of that. And I think, uh, yeah, I, I got faith in uh, fashion show. <laughs> and then Darren walks down and... <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a film guy, so... All right, I'm gonna uh, play a song and then invite the band up and they're gonna, they're gonna wrap things up, but um, I'm gonna play a song now. We'll do the song. And then I'm going to, uh, we're going to do a prayer together. It's a Norwegian prayer. So right now, uh, there's bowls of candy all over the place. Uh, Blake had a few people get the candy list. Everybody get a piece of candy, because um, it's a dinner prayer. And so if we don't have something to eat, when we all say the prayer together, it won't make so much sense. It's, they're crunch bars, mini crunch bars. There's some Starburst if you don't, if you're allergic to chocolate. So, but make sure everybody get one. Don't leave it yet. We're going to do the song and then we'll do the prayer. <laughs> I didn't have anything prepared, but this is definitely a song that I was trying to channel a message. It's okay. And um, wrote it with my grandma in Denver like two years ago. Like I throw lyrics out and she asked me, oh, what do you, and I'd be like, what do you think of this? And, and uh, she'd be like, well, that's good, that's bad. So I think what I'm basically, it's called Love, and it's about um, just sort of uh, seeing how you get to such a low point in your life and then asking why that happened and what you attribute um, all those things happening too, so anyway, here we are.